Trump was right. I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. You do. I don't make money from Russia. You made three and a half million dollars, Joe, and your son gave you. They even have a statement that we have to give 10 percent to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're not. But you're the big man, I think. Your son said we have to give 10 percent to the big man. Joe, what's that all about? It's terrible. It is terrible. And he was right. And <laughs> watch how the media covered up for him, even in the heat of that moment. Respond and then we're going to have stuff follow up. is true questions. about Russia, Ukraine, China, other countries, Iraq. If this is true, then he's a corrupt politician. Right. So don't give me the stuff about how you're this innocent baby. Joe, they're calling you a corrupt politician. Nobody. Hey, President no. Trump, I want to stay hell. on the issue of race. We're talking the about the issue. From hell. President Trump, Nobody. we're talking about race right now, and I do want to stay on the issue of race. How about that, huh? Wants to stay on the issue of race, the phony issue that they manufacture, that they design to blow up the country. Fascinating, right? Um, and then the media, of course, spun everything Donald Trump said has been essentially proven by the House Oversight Committee. And what did they accuse him of back then? Last night, Trump made clear his closing argument is just lies, lies, and more lies. Flooding the zone with a deluge of outright false claims. And he covers up, up all, all those deficits by attacking Hunter Biden and trying to dirty up a, a Biden. He maligned Joe Biden's son tonight, invoked unverified allegations against him, doubled down on this narrative about Hunter Biden, which conservatives have been pushing for years. This time he was just a moving, a slow moving manufacturer of lie after lie after lie after lie. So they actually talked about they said this out loud. Maybe we have to come up with a procedure to cut the microphones every time Donald Trump utters something that's not true. They actually thought about doing that and implemented a system where they could turn off the mics if they didn't like what Trump was saying. Anyway, fast forward three years, three years, and the media, oh yeah, he was right all along. Yeah, on some little watched Sunday show, CNN admitted it. Kessler wrote, Hunter Biden reported nearly 2.4 million in income in 2017 and 2.2 million in income in 2018, most of which came from Chinese or Ukrainian interests. But this, and this directly goes against what Joe Biden said in the debate in 2020 uh, with uh, Donald Trump. I mean, Trump was right. I mean, he did make a fortune from China and Joe Biden was wrong. Yeah, they're all like, yeah, yeah. Is that front page news? Is that? No, they, they still insist. Vast portions of CNN, uh, the White House, that that's fake news. No, it's established. It was admitted by Hunter Biden's own lawyers that they got money from China. Trump.